So here we can see on my second generation Fire TV Cube, my device is now downloading an update. And as we know, once this device gets the very latest update, I'm not going to be able to use custom launchers anymore. Now in the last one or two videos, I've covered different processes, different methods we can use on our devices. Now, even if you use those methods, there is a possibility that an update may come onto your device. And the next time your device restarts, it will then basically install this update. Now to mitigate that, I did mention that there is a command you can type in on your device and that will basically clear or delete any update that Amazon has pushed onto your device. So it then cannot be installed. Now the process to do this did require you to run remote ADB shell and type in a single command. And to make this process easier, because that's what my channel is all about, finding you the best tips and tricks, finding you the best streaming, legal streaming applications, and really just get the most from your Amazon and your Android TV devices. Well, if I press the home key and allow me to present the all new TDUK update wiper, and as the name implies, with a single click now, I can delete any update that Amazon sends to my device. And without the update, Amazon can't make any changes to my device. So let's open that up. We can see it has a very, very basic interface. We only have two options. Number one is to clear anything that's downloaded, which is the OTA database. And the other option is, is to clear that database and also to restart your device. So in this example, I want to delete what Amazon sent to my device. I click on the first one, literally within a few seconds or really less than a few seconds. I click on my Fire TV, go to about, go to check for updates and it now says never. So that update from Amazon has now been completely deleted from my device. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get the TDUK update wiper on all of your Amazon devices and I'll take you through some of the scenarios in where you would actually want to use this. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing a demonstration on the second generation Fire TV Cube, which is running Fire OS 7, but I've also tested this toolbox on the 4K Fire Stick Max, which is also Fire OS 7 and also my 4K Fire Stick, which is Fire OS 6. If you are running Fire OS 5, you're not gonna be able to use this toolbox, but I'm working on other options for that. So to start the process, go to the cog wheel, which is your settings, click on My Fire TV, click on Developer Options, and make sure you have ADB debugging enabled because the toolbox uses this to make that change. And I will show you the exact commands that are running with this toolbox, so you know exactly what's happening. Then go to install unknown apps, click on that, and just double check and make sure downloader is set to on. And this just means that we can download applications through downloader and then install them on our device. Let's now press the home key and let's now open up downloader and make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in this short code 53402 and this will take you directly to my site. Now, when you get to my site, head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines. Let's click on that and then click on tutorials. And we're now looking for the tutorial for the update blocker. So what I've done is I've actually updated this same page, block Amazon updates, and added this as an option on the bottom of this page. So depending on your device or your scenario, if you scroll down, you may find that you can just use the original TDUK update blocker. So if your device hasn't received the latest update or one of the latest updates, which actually breaks this, you can go ahead and use the update blocker. And that basically means you don't need to worry about anything else because if this one is working on your device, your device is fully blocked from receiving any updates and you can carry on using any of those custom launchers and really just make sure that Amazon can't make any changes to your device. Now, if this doesn't work on your device, which I have demonstrated in previous videos, you can then use the add guard method, which I did demonstrate in my last video, which is to install these two applications and this will basically block the update process running on your device. The only thing is it does use a virtual VPN to use that block. So if you start your own VPN, that's basically going to stop AdGuard from working. And when your VPN is running, there is a possibility that your device will start downloading that Amazon update. Now, if that's your scenario, 
This way you then type in this command here, this PM clear using ADB shell, you can type in this command and this will basically clear the update if it's already on your device. So that's what I mentioned in my last video and we can now take this to the next level, use the new TDUK update wiper and these are the three commands that will run when you run that toolbox. So the first one will disable one of these processes and this is actually one of the ones that forces the update to install and the next two basically clear down anything that's been downloaded on your device. So if your device has already downloaded something, this will basically clear it. Now to get the toolbox, if you click on this link here where it says beta, let's click on that. Let's scroll down and you want to click on this green download button. And this will download the toolbox directly onto your device. It's only a couple of meg in size. We can click on install. Give that a second. That's now all done. I can now click on done. Press the home key. Let's go and double check to see if, if we have any updates. Let's go to settings, MyFi TV, go to a check for updates. And we can see now a real life scenario, an update is being downloaded. And if for whatever reason my device rebooted now, it would then install this update onto my device. So, and this is exactly what the new toolbox will prevent from happening. So as long as you clear the update, it cannot be installed onto your device. So let's press the home key. Let's now start the new TDUK update wiper. Let's click on that. And this time, just for a test, I'm gonna do the second option, which will delete the downloaded file, but it will also restart your machine. So, and the reason why I asked my developer, Sween Wolf, to add this option to the toolbox, lots of you regularly restart your device and just to make sure that you don't have anything downloaded, which will then be installed, just open up this toolbox, select the second option. This will clear down or delete any Amazon updates and then instantly restart your device. So let's select that option. Yep, we can click on OK. Give that a second. That should have now deleted those downloaded files from Amazon. And then we can see that's now restarted my Fire TV cube. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag Amazon, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Let's log back in. And let's double check to see what's happened to our settings. My Fire TV. And what I'm hoping is when I go to uh, updates, it shouldn't say install update. It should give me the option to check for updates because all of those previous things should have been deleted. Let's click on about. And as we can see here, guys, it says check for updates, last check never. So it just confirms one more time, anything from Amazon that was on my device has now been fully deleted, fully cleared down using the new TDUK update blocker. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm always looking for newer methods, new tips and tricks, or just different methods on how we can get the most from our Amazon and Android TV devices. And I do think with this new toolbox, it will really simplify the process of clearing down those Amazon updates. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.